Hello and welcome to Confessions of a Yarn Addict. My name is Anakin and today I have another yarn review for you. So I'm going to review this yarn which is uh, Viola from uh, John Arban. Um, I have knitted this sweater which I'll give you a closer look in a minute. But I've knitted this sweater in this yarn and I'm just about to post it off to the magazine so I thought before I do I will just record a very quick yarn review and I'll give you a closer look of that pattern in a minute. I will also link that pattern below and um, it will be published in Knitting Magazine by the time this video comes out but I don't, I'm not 100% sure which, which issue it will be in. So I'll put all the details about the uh, uh, magazine below. And I will also put the link to uh, the yarn below as well. So if you like this video, if you like yarn reviews, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more yarn reviews, seeing what's on my needles, tutorials, things like that, then do uh, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment and tell me what you like about my videos and what you'd like to see in the future. So this yarn is called Viola, V-I-O-L-A, and it's from John Arban Textiles. Now, I live in Cornwall in the southwest of England, and John Arban are actually based in Devon, which is the county next to uh, Cornwall. So they're not that far from where I live, probably about an hour and a half drive. Um, so it's a local yarn. And this yarn is 100% um, merino wool. It's actually organically farmed merino wool from the Falklands Islands. And it's incredibly soft, absolutely love it. And um, it is the same fiber, I understand, as the John Arbor Knit by Numbers range, um, which I worked with before. My uh, Clavelli poncho, uh, which I released last year, I think, uh, is knitted in Knit by Numbers. And that is the same base yarn, I understand, as this. Before I tell you more about Viola yarn, uh, the Viola is also available as a fibre for spinning. So a friend of mine just told me that she'd uh, um, ordered some Viola spinning fibre and she reassures me that it is absolutely dreamy to spin with, which I can imagine because this yarn is absolutely dreamy. So Viola is a soft yarn, it's a DK weight, it has about 250 meters per 100 gram skein which is quite good for dk i think for 100 gram skein uh for this sweater which has cables so it's a little bit more dense stitch pattern in the uk size 10 used um by just over 500 grams by 525 grams i think um so that will give you some idea but this is cabled so that's a slightly more dense stitch pattern if you were doing a lace pattern you may well use slightly less so the recommended needle size on the ball band is two to three millimeter uh, which to me seems a bit small i use four millimeter for this sweater and i usually use between 3.75 and 4.5 millimeter needles for dk yarn depending on what i'm knitting um, so Viola is a beautifully soft yarn. It has really nice drape if you knit it up in a lace pattern. It is uh, has a nice even um, stitch definition. It is really nice for cables like I've used in this, year, this sweater, which I'll show you a bit more close up later. Um, so it is a yarn that's really good for all kind of all round um, type of designs. Don't know how easy it is to see this, but it isn't a completely solid yarn. So when you spin yarn, you can either spin the uh, undyed fiber or quite often they'll bleach the fiber to make sure it's properly white. So you either spin the undyed fiber or the bleached fiber, and then you dye it after it's been spun into yarn. That's how most yarns are spun. And that gives you a, let me see if I can find the yarn. So that gives you like a, completely solid color like that so that the color is completely solid and there's absolutely no variation at all so that's a yarn that's been spun as a white or undyed yarn and then dyed after it's been spun Viola was actually dyed as a fiber so they've dyed fiber in different colors and then they blended that fiber together to spin the yarn and that means that you do get a few specks of other colors so when I knitted this, there are a few specks in it that aren't 
um, that are slightly different colors and it gives you a slightly kind of um an even look to it a little bit more depth it's not completely just a solid block of color and i quite like the way uh, that's done i expect it's probably a more expensive more difficult way of doing it to create um like even colors across different uh, across the whole range across different dialogues uh, but i really like it when a yarn is uh, tied as a fiber and then the fibers are blended to create a yarn i really really like that i did say that uh, viola is the as far as i understand i think it's the same base yarn as uh, knit by numbers or is spun from the same fiber as knit by numbers um but it has a completely different color range so knit by numbers has quite a few different colors and they go from like a really solid dark rich color and then they gradually add more white to make it paler and paler and paler and lighter and lighter and lighter um, and they have quite a few different colors in the range um, and then each i think each color has like seven six or seven different variations as it gradually gets lighter this um color range doesn't have as many colors as knit by numbers but it comes in when i videoed this earlier today i checked the website and it came in um nine very subtle colorways so john arban textiles they have their own mill in north devon where they spin all their own yarn um which i love especially as they're almost local to me as well so the yarn has beautiful drape and is very soft with even stitch definition it is a plied yarn which means that it has several strands Apply together in this case I did actually untwist the yarn at the end and notice that it has three plies so three plies tends to give you a slightly more rounder yarn so if you have two plies um, or two strands plied together you tend to get a yarn that's a little bit more open and um, tends to be more suitable for lace knitting whereas if you have three or more plies spun together or three or more strands spun together it tends to be more suitable it tends to give you a little bit more of an even stitch definition and it tends to be suit more suitable for things like cables with the cables you want a round uh, yarn with good stitch, stitch definition and a yarn that will kind of make the um, cables pop having said that i would knit lace in this as well so i knit a little bit swatch earlier today uh, I only finished this sweater yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, so just in time to block it overnight. And um, after I finish recording this, I'm going to pack it up and then go to the post office. Um, it's a very last minute. So earlier on when I was taking a break, I knitted up a little swatch. So I did a lace pattern at the beginning, very simple lace pattern. And then I did some stocking stitch. And you can see from the stocking stitch how even the stitch definition is. I did this on four millimeter needles and the stitch definition is very very even um, and the lace looks really nice if I was going to do an all over lace garment I would probably use bigger needles to open up the lace a little bit more so I would say this is suitable for all kinds of stitch patterns for lace for cables for stocking stitch for color work it would look beautiful in stranded color work um, I would be happy to use this um, yarn for any kind of uh, garment patterns. It's also really good for accessories, things like cowls, shawls, scarves. Um, I probably wouldn't use it for socks or hand warmers because I don't know whether it would be hard wearing enough. So here is a little bit more of a close up look of the sweater. So the sweater has uh, cables, a uh, cable pattern worked in rib. It is worked from the bottom up, so it starts at the bottom here with a, a few rounds of 2x2 two two rib and then it moves into the cable pattern. And it's actually worked in the round until you get to the underarms and then I, I work the front and the back separately until you get to the shoulders and then the shoulders are joined by working a three needle cast off which is here, gives you a really nice join and then i knitted on the neckline i put the stitches on hold for the front and back of the neck and then i picked up stitches around the sides and i knitted the neckline in the round 
uh, in a two by two rib and you can see how it fits in with the um, cable pattern at the top here and then for the sleeves I picked up stitches around the armhole and then I worked the sleeves in the round from the top down the first bit of the sleeves the sleeve cap down to about here roughly maybe um, the sleeve cap was worked in uh, using short rows so that was worked by, back and forth so you start picking up from the shoulder and then you work a few stitches that way turn and then you go that way and then you go back and forth and gradually work down till you get to the underarm and then when you get to the underarm the sleeve is worked in the round from the top down and then at the wrist there is a cable pattern so it's the same cable pattern as on the body but because the sleeves are worked from the top down the cables are the other way around i don't know whether i can show you this so on the body they go the cables go that way and on the sleeves they go that way so i don't know how easy it is to see that but the cables go the opposite way which is why i didn't work the cables on the whole of the sleeve so this is in has been published in knitting magazine and i will link the issue below so I will put which issue is in below. So I hope you enjoyed that yarn review. Um, if there are any specific yarns that you would like me to review, then leave a comment below. Um, I will uh, put all the links below and all the details below and tell you what issue that sweater is in and uh, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more yarn review videos thank you very much for watching